And then we're also going to apply primer on the inside of the new Extreme Stiletto. One, two, three, go. To make sure it's pre-melted. So because they do have a higher apex and a deeper C curve, you want to make sure you size it really, really well. If there's a space in between, you can actually go in and apply more press-on gel to build out the apex. So you're going to apply just a really thin coat of base gel over the natural nail. Super duper thin. And this is going to act as our cushion, remember, okay? Beautiful. Let's cure that for 30 seconds inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Here's my Dazzling Darling Lamp, which is back in stock already. I'm going to pre-file in the cuticle area. So that way it's blended even more. So that way after I apply the nail, there's less I have to do. And this is optional. Of course, this is more of an advanced technique. And you don't have to do it this way if you want also to have more of like a press-on-y kind of look. But it really comes down to personal preference, you know what I mean? She wants her nails to look really, really sculpted, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take press-on gel in pink. And then I should get my flashy ready too, so that way I'm not looking for it last minute. Let's do a coat of press-on, pink press-on gel to give our nails some color. And then pink press-on gel on the inside of the one, two, three, go extreme. Tapered stiletto. And make sure you have enough gel too, you guys. Beautiful. I'm gonna rock it on into place. Make sure the nail is nice and straight and freeze. Make sure the nail is super straight because the last thing I want is a wonky nail or bubbles. And the pink press on gel does take a little bit longer instead of 10 seconds to about 15 because it does have pigment. So you want to cure it a little bit longer. Make sure it's nice and perfect. Squeeze the sides down because remember it has a deeper C curve you guys. For those girls that love that deep C curve. Hold it down and freeze it in place. Look at that sidewall. Super snatched. And the inside, seamless. And now we're going to bake this for one minute. So as you guys can see, they are definitely not for the faint of heart, the extreme shapes. The extreme coffin is super long, super deep C curve, and it just looks just like a real sculpture nail. I'm so proud of it. I've been working on these nails for months, you guys. And today that I can finally launch them, it was just such a huge accomplishment. And I feel so happy and proud that they're out. And I think within the first hour, we sold 100 units, I think, at least. So it was wild. Let's check out the color that she wants. She wants this really pale blue. This is gel so polish number 89. It is this really, really pale blue. It's pretty. So I'll see what, I, what I'll do with it. I'm not sure yet. So we're baking it for one minute, making sure all those layers of gel bond together and we get the best snatch nail possible. Only about four more seconds. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Make sure the sides are nice and blended in. And that's all you have to file, pretty much. I mean, the nail is done. Now let's blend in that cuticle area to make sure she is seamless. We're going to use a pink diamond cuticle bit. I want to make sure that there's no product stuck to the nail so that way when it grows out there's no like lifting or any crusties back there it's just smooth smooth operator dust off the nail let's go in with our smoothie buffer remove the shine of the entire phalange Mm 
You gotta be careful with this one because she's sharp. And my mom has rheumatoid, so it's really hard to fly her nails. <laughs> <laughs> es cierto. Beautiful. Look at that color. So now um, let's do a French. Let's do a little, a little bit of French today. Okay. Ah, oh, you want ombre? Yeah. I need my a pink gels. Where did my a pink go? Here it is. A pink number one. This is going to be my base color for the nail. It even looks pretty just like that, actually. Okay, 30 seconds. Let's get the color ready and let's get our pistachio brush ready as well, too. Make sure it's clean. When you're doing ombres, pistachio. She is a ride or die, you guys. Ja. Hello. Oh my gosh, don't you guys hate it when you're working? No, but rápido nomás. Don't you guys hate when you're working on a client and your clients aren't even paying attention? And you're like, hello, sweetie, today. So I'm gonna do another layer up. A pink number one back here, just to darken it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go, no, no, ¿qué haces? And then we're going to get number 89. <laughs> Almost touching the colors, but not quite. And then take your ombre brush, so there's no dust on it or oils. And then you're going to begin to press the color from the side to the side really super gently so that way they can begin to blend in. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Blend those colors in together really gently. This is a very long and agonizing process, but you get a beautiful result. We're gonna give it about maybe 15 seconds to soft level out. She didn't want to give it 15 seconds. She's like, I'm gonna put it right in. Great. A client that doesn't listen. And we're also gonna use some frozen too to blend in that light nutty demarcation too. So this is our pure frozen glitter. It is stunning. <clears throat> I'm gonna use Precious Minerals number 177 too. How pretty that is. And then I'm going to take one of my vegan art brushes from the four pack. Let's use the pink. And then dip it into the wet gel and begin to apply some of that frozen glitter in between to create more of an ombre effect. There's more of the other ones, I need to look for them there in the kitchen.
Make sure that glitter, turn the nail to the side, okay, you guys? And make sure that glitter is laid. Because if that glitter stands up, you're gonna have a nail that feels like oatmeal. And blend it out towards the back. Beautiful. And let's bake this for 30 seconds. And then you can see that with either shiny gel or wonder gel. Let's do wonder gel because it is thicker and it'll give the note more volume as well too. Beautiful, look at that. And then we're gonna bake this final layer for one minute. And there you guys have it, the first extreme stiletto demo in the universe, you guys. I'm so happy this note finally came out and thank you so much for the amazing um, reception you guys have given the new extreme shapes. You guys, I put so much love and effort into them and I thank you guys so, so much because it means the world to me that you guys love it and I can't wait to see what you do with them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Kisses, everybody.